sussing, I'm sussing on you. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on you. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. I'm your host Francesco D'Alessio who talks all about productivity apps and resources to help you boost your productivity across your day. So it is September favourites. It felt like yesterday that we did August favourites. It's gone really, really fast. Um, but that's mainly because I posted all this favourites so, so late. So September favourites will cover all things about the apps, uh, books, uh, resources and things like that that I've found over the month, experiments, etc. I know this is a, a regular feature now and actually something that I get some really positive feedback on. So uh, if you are enjoying this one, make sure to comment below with some of uh, the things you'd like to see in terms of categories. But let's get started without further ado. So an announcement, as you may have seen, the rollout of the Keep Productive uh, YouTube channel has completely gone in, which is great. Uh, it's great to have a brand behind it now, because although we, I can share all of my about myself and things like that, it's great to have a sort of brand to help you find more content, uh, courses and things like that, and you can find out all about Keep Productive very soon. I'll include all the stuff in the description below where it is available now, but we'll be going into a few different places very soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. So apps this month have changed a lot as well because we've had the new iOS app store and obviously that has changed a lot of things because the app store looks totally different and pretty awesome. Uh, of course, we've got the Android app store, Google Play store, which hasn't changed too much, uh, but again, something that is very uh, notable. So the first application uh, that I want to share with you guys is TimePage. I've talked about TimePage a couple of times before. I need to do a full review on it. TimePage is an application by Moleskin, available on iOS. It's a calendar application that looks pretty good. Uh, it's well designed, pretty easy to use, and something that I recommend for those who want a really lightweight calendar application that just looks great. The next application is available on iOS and Android. It's called Skillshare, and it's an application that is pretty easy to get started with. And the great thing is it does a free month at the moment. Uh, I think it's a free month. Uh, but basically, once you sign up for that month, you get access to all the premium classes. There are some amazing classes there definitely worth checking it out. I am planning a Skillshare course very soon, so make sure to stop by there um, and, and definitely check that out because uh, you want to be on there ready for it. Uh, but the Skillshare community is fantastic, especially if you want to work or if you want to learn something brand new. So Asana Rebel, I've talked about it a couple of times before. It's available for Android and iOS. They've done a rebrand recently, sort of make it look a little bit, bit different. Uh, it works great on iOS and Android, and if you're looking into yoga, it's definitely worth uh, your five minutes. Uh, if you're a bloke looking at yoga, definitely worth trying out too, because uh, you know, although it looks very feminine in style, it's actually a very uh, useful application for yoga, especially as a man. So definitely try it out. Notion, the application that I talk about quite regularly, has launched on iOS now, so definitely worth checking that one out. I have been exploring Notion, and probably will do a separate review on it very soon. It's a flexible application that does a pretty good job at giving you a personal and team experience. I'm going to be doing more and more on this uh, in the future because I think this is a very strong application. And finally, Trello did launch on Mac this month. Uh, I did make something wrong in my Trello for Mac review, so you if you want to check that one out, it's in the description below. But uh, I did say it was offline, it's not technically offline. Uh, it isn't got that functionality yet. I was actually connected to my phone Wi-Fi, I didn't realize, uh, but it doesn't do offline yet, which is a bit of a shame, but they're gonna be adding it very soon. Okay, so moving on to books. Uh, books has been something that, again, I don't progress with a lot. I haven't talked about books for like two months, mainly because I'm not a fast reader. Um, I'm still near the end of like um, Lynchpin, which is a book by Seth Godin, very good. Uh, that was a recommendation by Alex Icon, really helpful. Um, and I've, I bought this one about two, two weeks ago now, The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. The good thing with this one is it's, you don't really read it in a sense. Uh, it gives you daily entries of like, so for example, uh, it will give you an entry to read every day and it's like a small bit of reading to start your morning and it gives you um, sort of like a taste, a quote and then like an insight into the quote to apply to your day. So that's something that I find very helpful. Sort of weirdly predictable sometimes, as in like um, like when you start thinking about the stuff that's written in the book, it start applying to your day in real time. And finally, a recommendation by a very good friend uh, and someone I work with, uh, The Automatic Customer. This again is very uh, more of a business book, but one that I am reading on the side. 
and I've started that one separately just because it applies to what I'm doing at the moment. So moving on to blogs and YouTube channels that I want to recommend. So the first YouTube channel that I came across actually a couple of months ago, but I want to share this one now. Sorella Amore uh, does YouTube videos all about her life uh, traveling and she does lots of different ones as well about lifestyle. Uh, her video on about the Wim Hof technique was very good. Again, I'm a big fan of the Wim Hof technique. Something that you can use to, uh, it's a breathing technique and a cold water immersion technique, which is very cool um, and very useful to your body. Uh, but I'll include that one in the description below. Her channel was amazing. Uh, she puts out really high quality content, definitely worth exploring it. Talking sort of about like uh, technologies and like body side of stuff is primitive technology. This is uh, one that I followed uh, quite about a year ago now. And basically it is a chap who goes into New Zealand wilderness and he just builds stuff. It's pretty therapeutic to watch. Uh, he basically builds these mud hearts and does different stuff like carving new instruments and basically stuff that cavemen would have done. Well, maybe not cavemen, but early settlers would have done. Um, and it's a really good channel to watch, especially you can learn a lot of things about creating on that channel. It gets a lot of views per thing as well. So it's a very popular channel that you may know of already. So the next channel that I want to recommend is called J Jan Holle, Jan Ole Helmbold. Uh, I believe that's your name, Jan. I really apologize if it isn't. Uh, I found his YouTube channel uh, when I was searching the web at a couple of notebook reviews and found it. It's a brilliant channel, all about how uh, you can apply like notebooks and technology into your daily routine. I really like his lifestyle videos. They're very, very good. Again, uh, I don't tend to watch too much YouTube content, but those sort of high quality features I really do enjoy. So make sure to check his channel out. That's a good one to, uh, if you're someone who likes technology, hardware, software, uh, to go and check out. And finally, a bit of content I found this month, uh, Isle of Dogs, which is a new film by Wes Anderson. That's gonna be coming out next year. But I was really excited when I saw the trailer because I'm a Wes Anderson fan. Like I really enjoyed all of his, vid uh, all of his movies, uh, especially enjoyed Fantastic Mr. Fox. That was a very good film. And I really like the way that he uses symmetry in films. Uh, anything in the screen moves is left or right or forward like that. So it doesn't ever like break away from that, which is quite cool. Uh, he's releasing a film called The Isle of Dogs. It's a bit of a crazy plot. I'll include the trailer in the description below. I love those sorts of films because sometimes you get like films that you're like, I know, yeah, it's a, it's a disaster movie. You can switch your brain off and watch it. But with Isle of Dogs, I feel like it's gonna be a plot that's gonna like, get me thinking, very creative plot. So Wes Anderson's new movie's out very soon uh, in the start of next year. I'm gonna be going seeing it. I'll include the trailer in the description below. So onto the final segment, which is experiments. Uh, over the last couple of months, uh, two, two and a half months now, I've been doing um, like boxing now outside and sort of in the, the, uh, the sort of park area outside. Um, I've been doing like 20 minutes every two days or so. Um, some intense uh, workouts though. And I've been combining that as well with the body movement training I've been doing from Ido Portal. And it's been very beneficial. I have felt a lot more flexible myself, a lot more relaxed. Uh, my muscles feel uh, stronger, which is good. <laughs> uh, and I've just felt a general sense of I'd, more confidence in my body, I guess. Um, and the reason I've been doing this is mainly because I have sort of looked at I, I was looking at myself the other day and I was like, this sounds really vain. I was like, um, I'm not really a runner type body. I'm a more of a s swimmer slash boxer type body structurally. So I was like, why don't I try this? So I actually started doing it on a regular basis and I've got into a really good routine now. Um, so that's something that I've been experimenting with but actually found very beneficial. So boxing is something that I'll probably be showing you on a separate blog soon. So. Uh, that's another thing I want to mention, the new blog that will be on my website uh, very soon. We'll just upload a few experiments that I'm trying, maybe add a bit more. I'll explain probably in October favorites a bit more about that. But I'm finding this routine really beneficial for my health and also just in myself, more confidence uh, and things like that. On my iPhone, I don't know whether you've seen, I have a new layout. This might be useful for you because uh, it's actually a great way 
I've found to lay out things. I stick to two pages, use four folders and just have one full page of apps. Uh, you can, I'll show in the video demo here, but it's really helping. Uh, I may do a full video on this separately or just a what's on my phone video that I'll probably upload in October. And that's it guys. Uh, they're some of the experiments I'm trying. They're doing apps and things like tried out in September. Again, probably not a huge difference from the August favorites because I posted August so late and I included some of the stuff in September there. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. It's really great to have you in the community. Uh, if you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, join it now because there's regular uh, content out there. Uh, I'm really great to have you over on the channel there. So guys, thank you so much. Make sure you have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. Oh, I ain't rich yet, but you know I ain't broke up. So if I see it, I like it by that from the start. Uh, I'm with some white girls and they love in the coca. Like they OT, double OT, like I'm KD, smoking OG. And you know me, and my two threes, and my gold team. Bitch, you're smiling, but you see me from the north.